Welcome back. I'm Jane Rogers. So we have covered so much ground, starting with the longevity lifestyle and what molecules to consider to slow aging and get more quality years in your life. In this module, we're going to dive into longevity technology to measure and optimize. There are fancy high-tech options and old-fashioned low-tech gadgets. There are options for the budget-sensitive and for the maximizers, with more to put into it. There is hyped up marketing in the longevity sector. We all know that, but be careful that although a technology you're considering might help with a specific goal, that goal might not make a difference for your longevity. Many of the things we're going to talk about are new technologies and therefore the time and expense to rigorously test each hasn't happened yet. Be aware that if you buy something and then you rarely use it, that's not going to help you out either. And finally, Cutting Edge Health has zero affiliation with any of the products I'm going to show you. So let's start with devices that can help you track and analyze the physical activity that you want to do. There are activity tracker watches like the Apple Watch, the Samsung Galaxy Watch, the Garmin Venue, and Fitbit devices. The downside, the apps that come with these devices are not as specialized, especially when it comes to making recommendations. You typically have to download a separate app for the sleep side of things versus the activity. And to go into much depth, there's the Whoop wristband to track physical activity, which you can get used on eBay for less money. And then there's the Aura Ring for tracking physical activity, heart rate, heart rate variability, and recovery. I wear an Aura Ring. I would say Whoop and Aura really stand out with their apps. They constantly remind you about your goals and whether you've accomplished them for the day. Also, the Whoop and the Aura Ring shine for sleep tracking. I'll get to sleep tracking in just a bit. Speaking of tracking physical exercise, a technology just to be aware of is far infrared light. Of course, actually exercise is better, but you have similar benefits that you get from exercise with far infrared light. The far infrared waves go right through your skin and they get to the organ level. They heat you up from the inside out. You sweat, just like exercise. Your heart rate increases and so on. There's a product called Higher Dose, which offers a far infrared blanket, which you can see here or you can purchase entire far infrared saunas for a few thousand dollars. And these do make you sweat. Moving on, we just discussed far infrared light and there's the use of near infrared and red light together called photobiomodulation. It does not make you sweat, but it has some good health benefits like improving mitochondrial health and increasing ATP, which gives your cells more energy. The value of these is that with more energy, your cells are better able to repair themselves and to function properly. I'm embarrassed to show you this furnace room. It's got all of our junk in here, but this is where I do the Zazz. And I do do this every morning and I turn on the juve light so that I maximize my time. So the Zazz will vibrate you, supposedly gives you more bone density. When NASA astronauts went up into space, they came back with more bone density. I, I've read after they use something like this. And so you turn it on and it slightly shakes you. And then you also then get the infrared light. This is a juve and it gives you uh, something called photobiomodulation. So it helps, your, it helps reduce inflammation. It helps your skin cells turn over faster. Usually I don't do it with any clothes on um, because you want all the light hitting you. Speaking of light, to get a good night's sleep, you need to optimize your circadian rhythm. There are devices like Hue Wi-Fi light bulbs, the two-pack for $90, or there are other brands that recently launched that you can find on Amazon or at Costco that also perform similar functions to Hue, but are less expensive. With these, you can get red or amber light in the evening. With these colors of light, you're increasing your melatonin production before you go to bed, and you'll get better sleep. 
I find I actually feel tired shortly after turning red or amber lights on. You can use candlelight in the evening to achieve the same uptick in melatonin, and that's the cheapest of them all. Or there are amber tinted eyeglasses for $25. You can wear these in the evening. What you don't want is blue light from a computer or a TV monitor before bed. That isn't conducive to your circadian rhythm. Great sleep is important for longevity. When you're sleeping, you want darkness. Blackout shades are an option, but inside the bedroom, even those tiny little LEDs on your electronics, those blue, green, yellow, white lights, can negatively impact your sleep. In order to really block all that and not taping a little square of cardboard on top of every single LED light, you can consider getting a $20 sleep mask. I love my sleep mask. I use the Mercola sleep mask with lavender. They last forever. I give them as holiday presents. In the sleep tracking category, the Whoop or an Aura Ring work well. The Aura Ring gives you a whole lot of information. It's one device I cannot imagine being without. Here's my Aura Ring data. There's the amount of deep sleep and REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep. You want 25% of your sleep time spent in deep sleep and 25% spent in REM sleep. The Aura Ring measures how long it takes for my resting heart rate to hit a low point in the night, signaling my body's recovery. The earlier the low point, the better recovered you are a signal of whether or not to take it easy the next day. The Aura Ring measures body temperature and how long it takes to fall asleep, too. This data illustrates well for me that if you can measure it, you can change it. When I first got my ring, I was only getting three minutes a night of deep sleep. I had no idea. It was pathetic. You can't repair or recover with that kind of sleep. Now I'm getting at least an hour each night, and it's one of the areas I'm still trying to optimize further. There is always something, isn't there? An aura ring is not as accurate as an in-lab sleep study, but it does well enough. We actually use the aura ring in my lab for rem- you know mm-hmm. to, to remotely uh, measure people's sleep in research studies. the 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 thing is that you know they give you a number. It's not the same as what I would get if I was bringing mm-hmm. you into the lab and I had polysomnography and I had electrodes on your brain and I was measuring, you know, your heart rate and I could measure all these things from medical grade devices. You know, I think the aura ring, the reason why it's, it, it is as good as it is, is because they actually have done a lot of work to validate their um, their algorithm to to polysomnography, you know, to the medical grade polysomnography. Um, so they're doing they're doing as best as they can with the information that they have. And some devices most helpful to getting more deep sleep for me are sleep temperature modulating devices like the Chili Pad, starting at six hundred forty dollars, which I do love. The Bed Jet or the Eight Sleep, which starts at twenty two hundred. The value of these devices is that sleep temperature can have a significant impact on the quality and duration of your sleep. And anything that improves your sleep is good for your longevity. Another sleep optimization idea is to block noises that can cause you to wake up. I actually wear Bose headsets when I sleep, but they are kind of big. Better for most are spongy earplugs put in correctly to do that. you To do that, you roll them with your thumb and your fingers, pressing them in until they're needle thin. You reach behind your head with the opposite hand and pull your ear outward and upward. While you're doing that, you stick the squish down point of the earplug into your ear canal. And as that earplug opens up again, all the sound is gone. You should only feel the end of the earplug once it's in your ear. Do it again if it feels like it's sticking out more and earplugs are cheap. There are also white noise machines and white noise apps, which you can play on speakers loud enough to hear. Another thing that can improve your sleep quality actually takes place in the morning. We are up bright and early and we are walking to get coffee. But the real reason we're walking is because we want the light of the morning right away, right when you wake up, because it's for the circadian resetting of your clock, the circadian rhythm. And it doesn't take that long. You're supposed to walk 10 minutes 
with somebody, be in conversation, it's supposed to be good. Being outside like that is circadian rhythm entrainment, which even though it happens in the morning, it still maximizes the quality, duration, and the onset of your upcoming sleep that night. You want high lux morning light, even if it is cloudy. When the sun is low in the sky, it's absolutely free. And in addition to this, make sure you get 30 minutes of time outside before lunch. You'll sleep much better by doing this. If you can't get out, consider a sad lamp. You can find them on Amazon for around 60 bucks. Then a little bit of an upgrade would be sad glasses for 150 The next category for longevity technology is diet and metabolism. One technology for tracking is a smart scale. The Withings Body Comp Scale is a good tool to be able to measure how your lifestyle interventions are impacting your cardiovascular health and your visceral fat. Continuing with diet and metabolism, blood glucose monitors fall into this category. They're typically associated with diabetics. That's what they were designed for, but many of us trying to increase our health spans are now using them to track our blood sugar. Low insulin levels are linked to longer lifespans in many animal species. There are the old-fashioned finger prick monitors, and then there are the continuous glucose monitors, CGM for short, like Freestyle Libra and the Dexcom G7. They offer automated measurements every few minutes for a couple weeks, which then sync with your phone. Here is my partner wearing a Freestyle Libra continuous glucose monitor this morning as I'm working on this lesson. A healthy range like 80 to 90 milligrams per deciliter fasting and at least below 100 is advised. With this reading, which was just after he ate breakfast, the reading is higher. By tracking my own blood sugars carefully using finger prick and the continuous glucose monitors, I was able to get and keep my sugars down, as they're called in North Carolina, where I now live. I have used the CGM multiple times, and each time it stays in your arm for about two weeks. I'm not currently using it. I find once that you know what spikes your sugar, like for me it's applesauce and potatoes, I don't need to use it regularly anymore maybe just once a year after that. So you can consider this to be a short-term expense. Each CGM is about $100. Speaking of tracking blood sugar, there are CGM smartphone apps like Nutrisense, January.ai, Vary, and Levels that complement the CGM hardware. You pay for these, but they also enable you to get the CGM device to stick to your arm rather than have to see your doctor and ask for a prescription. I have found some docs are hesitant to prescribe the CGM if you're not a diabetic. Some of these apps offer personalized diet consultation with a dietitian. Others use AI to make recommendations in real time, and each is different with a different price point. Next, for diet and metabolism, are diet tracker apps like Noom, which is one of the most popular apps out there for diet, Life Sum, and Fujicate. The next category is Psychology and Cognition. One of the best ways to be able to improve psychology and cognition and optimism and reduce anxiety and so on is through meditation. There are apps like Calm and devices like Muse or HeartMath that can improve overall health by a reduction in these stress hormones. The Muse device is one that measures your brain waves, and it can help to reinforce the meditation process. The next category is your environment, which includes breathing, clean air, reducing pollution, and allergens. A study by the Energy Policy Institute at the University of Chicago, known as EPIC, found that pollution causes slightly greater impact on death than smoking does. There are air purifiers on Amazon in the $100 range. Consider an excellent air purifier like the Air Doctor, which has a better budget-sensitive price tag at $300 than the HEPA filter like the Molecule at $1,000. Getting one of these will help your body's toxin exposure, and they are imperative if you live in a place with wildfires and their toxic smoke like we do in the summer.
On to the topic of skin aging. There's microneedling and vampire facials, also known as PRP or platelet-rich plasma. Both of these use devices that make thousands of micro incisions in your skin with tiny needles signaling to the body the need to repair. Vampire facials add growth factors that are collected from your blood via centrifuge and are applied during the microneedling process, which is thought to accelerate regeneration and recovery. There's also the Juve, which I mentioned earlier. They start at $500. It speeds cellular turnover in the skin on your face. And if I miss a couple days of juving, I can really see the difference in my face. So these are examples of some of the latest longevity technologies. In conclusion, I have put together a few recommendations to consider for both someone who is budget sensitive and then someone who's a maximizer with more to invest. For physical activity, the budget sensitive, you can start with a Fitbit activity tracker for $99. You could also consider something like the Aura Ring for $300 or Apple Watch or Hoop. For a monthly membership fee of $30, you can find the Apple Watch and the Whoop pre-owned on eBay for less. For maximizers, I would recommend the Aura Ring or the Hoop. How about for the budget sensitive in the terms of light? How about candles? Those are pretty cheap. Amber glasses for $25. Outdoor morning light, that's completely free. Colored lights from Amazon or Costco. And a sad light, which are in the $60 range. For maximizers, you could add to that list sad glasses at $150 and hue lights, which are $90 for a pack of two. For sleep, consider earplugs for $5, a sleep max for $20. For sleep maximizers, consider adding a chili pad for $640 or eight sleep for $2,200. For diet and metabolism, budget sensitive, get a basic blood glucose monitor. It comes with a handful of test strips for about $40. For maximizers, get a continuous glucose monitor for $100 and consider also getting a $150 Withing Body Comp Scale for the pulse wave velocity and visceral fat measurements. Psychology and cognition, do meditation on your own, which is free, or an app for around $9 a month. Maximizers get the app and consider a Muse for two hundred fifty or Heart Math for one hundred eighty. In the environment category, a bedroom filter you can get for as little as ninety nine dollars on Amazon. Put it in your bedroom because you spend the most time there. Or you can spring for an Air Doctor, an excellent device for three hundred fifty. If you're a maximizer, you can get entire HVAC systems for $1,000 or more that have HEPA and UVC built right into them. Or you can also get HEPA filters like a Molecule in all the rooms that you tend to spend time in. Molecules are $1,000. And then skin health. You could consider something like PRP, platelet-rich plasma microneedling if you really want to take your skin to the next level using technology. The cost for the budget sensitive could be under $300. For maximizers, microneedling with the PRP and possibly a small juve, which is $500, but one that's big enough to do your face all the way down to your hips has now climbed to $1,600. I hope this was all helpful. Thank you for your time. May we live better, longer. Have a great day. <music>